वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर्स यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू गाइड यू फॉर टेन टेक्निकल टर्म्स फॉर फ्रेश सिविल इंजीनियर इफ यू आर स्टडिंग इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट आर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड यूर हाउस एंड यू आर नॉट अ टेक्निकल पर्सन सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल द एंड टू नो अबाउट टेन टेक्निकल टर्म्स फॉर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट गाइज द फर्स्ट वन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेटेड with staircase as you know guys staircase is the important part of building if that is resi residential building or commercial building so we need to construct the staircase for using first floor second floor third floor etc guys you can see here this is turn for the first floor okay so this is a stair remember what is the normal or standard size okay so use or you should have this is very important you should have minimum 6 feet by 13 feet size for staircase in residential building you should have minimum 6 by 13 feet space for staircase it means the width should not be less than 6 feet and 0 inches and the length should not be less than 13 feet and 0 inches so in that small place you can construct the staircase for residential building not for commercial building this is very important the second one is a riser and stair should not be more than 7.5 inches riser what is riser guys you can see this is straight this is riser this is straight this is a riser okay so this riser should not be more than 7.5 inches the depth okay guys you can see this is riser and this is straight okay and straight you can say it should not be less than 9 inches this is minimum this one riser 7.5 inches and straight 9 inches but this is minimum it should not be so it should not be more than 7.5 inches and not less than and let me write it in the second one okay 7.5 inches okay so let me write third one okay and straight should not be less than the first one is more than and this is less than 9 inches this one okay so this is the third one next one and stir the fourth one angle between ground and pitch it means guys you can see here this is landing this is stir this is ground okay so this is ground level and this angle should be angle between ground and pitch should should not be more than 40 angle 40 degree but you can say but keep between 25 to 40 degree this is very important okay this one so from 25 to 40 degree this is trade riser trade riser trade okay this is very important to know the fifth one is guys very important okay the size of plinth beam should not be less than 9 inches by 12 inches we are 12 inches depth is 12 inches 
and width is 9 inches this is the fifth one okay it should not be less than this so normal for normal residential building for g plus one you can keep nine by 12 inches but remember one thing more with minimum four numbers of bars four bars four bars you can say okay so this is the fifth one now guys the sixth one is size of column is minimum for g plus one story nine inches by nine inches with minimum four bars and that you can keep 12 millimeter okay so this is for size of column the next one guys let me guide you for more okay now i will write here for, i will get start from seventh okay so the seventh one is guys crank bar crank bars are very important nrcc slab with l by 4 distance to resist negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment this is very important how guys you can see here this is one column this is other column this is slab on the top of this this is crank bar okay so here we have negative bending moment here we have positive bending moment this is very economical so you should provide next one guys here let me remove this okay the eight one is guys eight one plant level for residential building should not be less than 2 feet and 6 inches it should not be less than this otherwise it makes more problems during flood level etc on the road or from the road level the ninth one is guys use 8 millimeter dia of ring and stirrup are ties ties in column stirrup and beam it should not be less than this okay use 8 millimeter die of ring if that is stirrup or in ties this is also very important the last one is very important guys here don't use cement if it is three months old three months old that has been expired so don't use expired cement within three months you can use the cement if the expire because we have the uh, final expiry three months for that okay so if you have more than three months time uh, after uh, three months when you are using the cement you cannot get the full strength so you will face more problems so within three months you should use the cement because this is the final expiry so this is the topic for today 10 technical terms which i have discussed at the front of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye